is from Kirsten Lewis. And, and the backstory here is uh, pretty intense. And Kirsten, I think, is, is listening in. And, and Kirsten, I've unmuted you, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give the backstory. And then we might bring you in for a discussion. So the, the parents of, of this child had tried for five years to get pregnant. And on their second attempt at IVF, they succeeded. About, at about 13 weeks into the pregnancy, they went in for a routine ultrasound. And the tech could not detect a heartbeat. So they told them, come back next week and we'll do a, a procedure to, to remove the miscarried fetus. But right before they, they did the procedure, the parents demanded on for a second ultrasound, just to confirm. Oh my God. Doctors and techs were shocked to discover not only a healthy heartbeat, but a very active and healthy baby. So in her submission, Kirsten writes, because of her parents' hope, love, and intuition, Farah's life was saved moments before a fatal procedure and is healthy and thriving today. Uh, Kirsten, are you, uh, are, are you there? I'm here. Okay. First, I'm going to let the, the, the panelists um, make any comments they want, and then um, we might just have, they can also have questions for you. That's a wonderful frame. I mean, you, you think, I mean, I've, I've, I photographed um, births before, and but with that backstory, just um, oh. uh, made this image again. And that was Maggie's Maggie's piece, and and these are the kind of images we're looking for. You know, mm -hmm. the, the images that that the story itself it it sits and rests on these amazing stories of humanity. Congratulations. Yeah, it's really beautiful too because um, knowing that story. Um, that is so profound. And again, the parents were really heroes in this, uh, in this story. But I'm so taken also by the plastic between the mother uh, and the baby. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and because yeah. in a way, I think the baby is always a mysterious thing before it comes out, right? You don't know what it's going to look like. Sometimes you don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Depends on so many things but um and so there's always this kind of veil or this kind of not barrier but something between the mother and the baby even though they're very close because the baby's inside of her but there's always this sense of this veil of mystery and finally the baby comes out and so i think that's really interesting to have that plastic in there but i just yeah. that is one hell of a story Good for those parents, you know. Good, good for them. Ah. We should always uh, ask a second time and a third time and a fourth time sure. before yeah. we accept anybody's opinion about anything. Mm. We should. We should. It's excellent. Uh, Kirsten Lewis uh, is an amazing photographer. Anyway. Uh, and Kirsten, this is like right at your upper, upper level. Fantastic image. Beautiful. As everybody said, uh, just an incredible, uh, with a great story behind it. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thanks, David. Thanks, everyone. Kirsten, you want to say anything about the photo? And, 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 and this, this baby's very healthy today, right? Very healthy. And... Um, it was unexpected part of the story. I decided to start following them as they were starting their IVF treatment and got to be there when they actually did the transfer. So I was as connected to this story just on a personal level um, to be able to witness that. And I was leaving for work in Europe when I got the text that they couldn't find the heartbeat which devastated me, but what devastated me even more is the mom was like, I'm so sorry, I should have called you to come in so you could have photographed me finding out. It just says a lot about the trust, uh, their trust in me in the process. So, um, and I couldn't be there to photograph the, the DNC either because I had to speak at a conference in Europe. Um, but I got to be there for the birth and um, it was really powerful and there were lots of tears and for me, this was the biggest sign of hope I've seen in my work in a long time. Awesome. Thank you very much, Kirsten, for sharing. You're um, welcome. The next